the beach, the seaside, bit of sunshine and a nice ice cream. But I'm going to twist up today. I'm going to do a beetroot and a horseradish. I know what you're thinking, sounds a bit mental, but it's an acquired taste, but it works. Got some double cream. Lovely. And a bit of milk, put that in there. And then you want a vanilla pod. You can use the essence, but I think it's always better to use a nice fresh one. Open it up, wash it out. That's enough. Okay, about a quarter of a teaspoon. All right. Now all I want to do, I don't want to boil it, I just want to bring it to a certain heat where it's going to infuse with the vanilla, yeah, and it's nice and warm. In here, we've got about 12 egg yolks, okay. I'm going to add the sugar in. Probably need about 200 grams of sugar, cast of sugar. Whisk this up a little bit now, because what we want to do, we want to make this go nice and pale and fluffy. So when you do pour your milk in, it's got a little bit of body in there, yeah. I've just got a little pan here with hot water in it. Just pop that over and just whisk it nice and slowly. Now you can do it raw if you like, but I feel a little bit more peace of mind when you know it's cooked, do you know what I mean? Especially if you, you got a girlfriend that's ready to drop or something, do you know what I mean? You want to make sure them, them eggs are cooked. You can put any flavouring you want. It's literally just eggs and sugar, milk and cream, bit of vanilla, mix it together. Theoretically, if you're making ice cream, you need an ice cream machine, yeah, a little churner, because basically you need to keep it moving while it's freezing, yeah? That's how you get your ice cream, yeah? Bosh, in an ice cream machine, six minutes done. And if you put it in the fridge and sort of, you know, just keep moving it, moving it about, stirring it every hour, you will get the same effect. But that has already turned a nice pale colour. Get yourself a bowl, get your eggs in. Have a look at the old cream. So now if you can stick your finger in it and you don't start screaming, then you're all right. Obviously, if you add heat to eggs, they scramble. A little bit at a time. The egg's like that, he's like, yeah, I know what's going on now, yeah? You're coming in, sweet, let's make love. Let's have a bit of ice cream. So now I'm gonna pop the rest of it in, right? Voila. You've got that lovely yellow ice cream color going on there, look. At this point, your best bet is to put a bit of um, icing sugar in there. I'm gonna whack a bit of this in, because I ain't got no rules. I don't care, I don't care, I ain't got monkeys, mate. Don't give them monkeys. Two bowls. Now this beetroot, all I've done to it, literally, you can roast it to get a nice, you know, that nice sort of depth of flavour. I've just boiled it, blitzed it up. So you've got that one going on there. Pour half of the mixture in. I'm gonna do a little bit at a time. Bosh. Look at the colour of that. That is lovely. Right, that's one. Second one, horseradish. I was thinking about what flavours am I going to do. I could have done chocolate, I could have done strawberry, I could have been boring, you know. I'm trying to get British here, do you know what I mean? And horseradish, it's got a nice little mustardy flavour behind it. It just works fantastic. I'm going to pour this in first. I'm going to put about four, five tablespoons in there. You lot think I'm bonkers, didn't you? Wait till you taste it, it's lovely. At this point, if you've got an ice cream machine, and if you're, you're clever enough to hook one up out here, then good on you, you're doing a better job than me. But I'm gonna pop mine in these little containers. There's a lovely lady over there. She's got a little calf. I said she can have a scoop of ice cream if I can put my ice cream in her freezer. As an actor said to the bishop. And there we go. Horseradish and beetroot ice cream.